So this is the Marantz recorder, and this is what you'll be using in the field to record your audio. To record an interview where you're just talking one-on-one -on -one to a person, obviously you are going to use a microphone. And this microphone has what we call a flag on it so that people know what organization you're with. You are going to use, for just face-to-face -face interviews, a short XLR cable, and you're going to plug that in to the end of the microphone. And the other end, the end with the prongs in it, goes into the back of the Marantz, the one that says mono on the end. Once you get that hooked up, you're going to turn the recorder on, and you want to make sure that it is on mic level, which is right there, recording an MP3. If it is not in one of those, in either of those two things, you push the menu button and then you use the track arrows to change the preset to get what you need. MP3 line, mic, this is on wave format, and then MP3 mic, which is what we want to use right now. And then you hit menu again to complete the process. Once you've done that, you're going to start recording. And you will see indication lights up here when you record that are telling you how loud it is. If you are overmodulated, meaning the noise is too loud and you need to turn the volume down, you will hit the fifth light, which will turn orange. And that is when you know that your sound is too loud and you need to turn it down. You also want to make sure that you are using headphones. In some of the recorders, I'm upside down so I can't find the stop button, in some of the recorders, the headphone jack that is right here doesn't work. So what you can do is plug your headphones into the line out jack. When you plug it into the line out jack, the headphones will work, but so too will the speaker. So you have to also plug something into the headphone jack to make the recorder think that it has headphones in it. <laughs> Once you've done that, you can turn the volume up and hear how your sound sounds. You should wear your headphones the entire time you're recording to make sure that your audio is crisp and quality. Now. If you are in a situation where you are recording sound at, say, a Hillsborough County Commission meeting, uh, Tampa City Council, any kind of board meeting type scenario where you're going to have an audio output directly from their audio system, most likely you're going to want to record on line level. And what that's going to do is you have a cord very similar to the XLR cable you use for the microphone, except that on one end, it has a eighth inch adapter. That is going to go into the line in jack. The other end will plug directly into the wall that you are recording from. Now when you do that, you want to make sure that you're recording on line level. So right now we have it on mic level mp3 because we were just using the microphone. Now we're going to change it to line level. So you're going to hit the menu button and then use your arrows until it says line, mp3, which is preset 2. Hit M menu again to complete the process. And now your recorder is ready to record directly from a building's audio capabilities. Again, make sure that you use the headphones to ensure that your audio is recording well. Um, there are other situations that you might run into some problems, and if you watch the next tutorial, we'll explain the more complicated processes.